Uh, I'm Matt Cross, and I've been wrestling for 17 years, which is about 15 too long. I was a punk rocker in high school, uh, Straight Edge. Uh, I found other punk rock Straight Edge guys that were really into pro wrestling. Uh, they introduced me to ECW, which to me wasn't wrestling, uh, but it was punk rock in a different non-musical format. Uh, I was just attracted to the violence and the way that the crowd was integral to the, uh, the actual matches and the product. Uh, and just fell in love with ECW and then did what you're not supposed to do, started to emulate it in, in the backyard. That led to the best of backyard wrestling tapes and video game. Uh, I then decided that wrestling was something I wanted to pursue professionally. Started training with a guy named JT Lightning, who uh, has since passed in Cleveland. It's kind of like the godfather of Cleveland wrestling. So myself, Ray Rowe, Johnny Gargano, EC3, I mean, it's been 17 years now and uh, it's taken me all over the world. I've wrestled in 25 uh, countries now. Yeah, my career's been like insane. Uh, I don't think anyone outside of myself even knows everything that is entails because it's been like one of the most fun, but one of the certainly like most random careers that there are. Like tonight we're in Maine. I'm sure someone will come up to me and be like, I remember you from the back of wrestling video game, which came out in 2003. So that's 14 years ago now. The next person will come up and remember me from Tough Enough, which we filmed in 2011. The person after that will remember me from MTV's short-lived Wrestling Society X, which we filmed in 2006. So that's now 11 years old. It's just. Uh, people remember me from like Hulkamania's Hulk Hogan tour uh, in 2009 in Australia. Uh, I did the last show The Ultimate Warrior ever did ever in 2008 in Barcelona, Spain. I was part of that. It was his last time he ever wrestled. But, like, just the amount of things that I've done and like the true randomness of it are, are like second to none. I mean, wrestling is very weird and everyone gets, I mean like even the building that we're in today is, is unique. Um, so that's, you know, we're no strangers to different environments and stuff, but the, the weird opportunities that come my way are kind of uh, even weirder than most, I think. Wrestling is forever is three words that really don't need an explanation. Like it means something to all of us and it means something different to all of us, but it means something immediate and visceral from the fans perspective. I mean, we all remember our first matches, what got us into it, what keeps us hooked from the wrestlers, why we do something that in a word is ill-advised. Uh, I mean, I broke my leg, uh, my first show of 2017 this year, and was on the shelf for three months. Uh, mentally and physically, it was, it was really tough. Um, so many people reached out to, to kind of want to start GoFundMes and things like that to send me money, and I just, I didn't feel guilty about it, but I felt, who am I to just take people's money because I was injured. Every single second of every day, someone in the world is injured and they don't just get money. So I just, I don't know, I felt really, it didn't sit well with me. So I wanted to provide something and not just be asking for money. Uh, it was an idea I'd already been thinking about in the past and then it gave me the motivation and the time really to, to finally move forward with it. And I just, it, it's like revitalized my career because it's something that I'm really excited about. I don't listen to the music that my grandparents listen to and I don't watch the movies that they do. Every single other form of entertainment has evolved except for wrestling. And, and I think now in the past year or maybe two, things are starting to change. So I think the fashion associated with it, the, the matches, the fans, the way things are shot, the way things are presented, I think everything is gonna be elevated and I wanna be part of that elevation. It's crazy, because every year that I've been in wrestling, I always promise myself, as long as I can do more than the previous year, as long as it's still fun, I'll stay in it. But every year that gets harder and harder and harder to do it. This year alone, I think I've wrestled in 13 or 14 countries. So I gotta wrestle in 13 or 14 or 15 next year just to kind of meet my own goal of, of always, you know, forever upward and onward. My goal, it's, it's, it's so cliche and it's so lame, but it is the journey and not the destination. Like what I am doing this absolute second is all that I've dreamed to do and all that I want to do. I'm a pirate, I'm a punk, and I'm living my dream as hokey as that sounds every second of every day. I have never wrestled in Maine before. So we're here today, I get to debut in a state that I've never gone to, that my parents have never gone to, my friends have never gone to, and they never will. You know, not because they don't want to, because that's just how life works. So. Here I am in Maine. Tomorrow I'll be in New Jersey. I was in Florida last week. I just came from Oklahoma, went straight from there to Japan, straight from there to Australia, straight from there to Toronto. I was home two days in October. So, what I mean, it's absolutely unheard of and insane that as an independent professional wrestler, I can maintain or keep or get a schedule that's busier than WWE. Like the running joke I keep having with people because every single day it's going to WWE and I'm like, maybe when my schedule lines up, I'll think about it, you know? It's like, 
it's just it's saying the world that we're in and, and it's very fulfilling for me because for 17 years I've, I've been a part of this independent wrestling and I believe strongly in it and all the bands that I listen to are independent artists and 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 just painters and everything and underground hip-hop and everything it's like I've always been attracted to that that counterculture and that subcultureness of it and it's nice to see that people can be their own boss and make their own living doing what they want to do on their own terms. I wrestled last week at Fest in Florida on a Sunday, but I stayed there for the fest from Wednesday to Sunday. So I had the flexibility in my schedule to just take a punk rock vacation, basically. Uh, the Misfits announced a reunion this year. They're doing one show in Los Angeles and I bought my ticket. I still don't know how I'm getting there, but what a world and what a life where I knew that I'm in a place where I can make that happen. I, I'm, how many people around the world would want to see the Misfits reunion this year? I, probably quite a few, and, and I'm able to do that. So my goal is, is to do this, just to keep going and to maintain this level of positivity and momentum until the wheels fall off.